Hey guys, this is Spencer from Destructoid.com. This is Jonathan Holmes, professional handsome man. Not even close. You're Not the good looking guy around here. Oh, you. <laughs> so this is PAX 2013, and we are talking about Pixel Junk Inc. It is a game that we played what is good. It is. It is the sixth or seventh game in the Pixel Junk series, I think. Somewhere around there. I have to go back there. to my math on that. First one, exclusive to Steam, as far as I know, as of right yeah. now. Well, they, they've said uh, previously that they want to launch first on Steam, mm. um, but they're not necessarily precluding other platforms. In the long so, run, right. Yeah, but they're definitely launching first on Steam, is what they're, or on PC, sorry. But You're a robot Steam. making soup in this game. Yeah, it's a game about soup robots on the moon. Moon soup. I didn't even realize that. Yeah, no. So the game, like, you work for a soup company, and they're like, you know what's awesome? Space. So they send you to space to make soup, and so you, you land in space, and you have, like, a tiny little, like, like soup factory, mm -hmm. right? And so you got to, like, go out and, like, punch some mushrooms and turn them into soup, and then you load up that soup into a big, smiley robot rocket ship, and then it shoots the soup back to Earth, uh, to the to like the home base of the company, and you just gotta keep making more soup. But like as you make more and more soup, and your base gets bigger, because like they send you money and stuff, so you can like build like greenhouses and like hallways and like yeah. bedrooms and stuff. And there's little cell phone robots, and so you get cell phone robots, which are adorable. But like aliens like soup, and so as they see that you're making soup. They're gonna try to holla at you with their bombs and mouths. There were douchey dudes on the sides of my walls, and I had to kill them. I thought it was like a peaceful no. Sim City type time, where no. I'm just in there with my other robot friends. They're cute, making soup, whatever. Go outside, sudden death. Murder. There's yes. murder outside. It's very dangerous. So like, you can research like laser beams or like laser buzz saws. Right. Um, so you can defend yourself, which is cool, but. It's, so it's all co-op, which is the best thing. Mm. So it's like, if we're playing John Holmes, uh -huh. we can be like, John Holmes, I need you to, to stay and like tend our laser beams while I take my hoverboard and do some sweet tricks and go explore, which is a thing. They put in hoverboards. I don't know if you saw that. I didn't. Did you, play? No, yeah. no, no. you can build things like hoverboards and like spaceships to explore. And all kinds of stuff. It looked and, great. It looked yeah. like they took, for me, the Pixel Junk series is about simple mechanics, similar to the Bit Trip series, actually. To yes. me, it was always kind of like Sony's Bit Trip series. Mm -hmm. uh, very simple mechanics that you can expand upon in really big, interesting directions. And this seemed to be like one of the biggest games they've oh, yeah. done yet. I was digging underground, I uh, tapped into a lake, drained it into towards my factory, away from the ra uh, laser shooting robots, took the fish, turned them into strawberry soup. That's what I did. Last, that's what I did last night. So, my favorite thing that happened during Pixel Junk is so there are these really cute cell phone robots uh -huh. that are the best thing in the world. Uh -huh. Like if I could give a robot game of the show, it would be the Pixel Junk cell phone robots. They're great. Uh, so you can like open up their brains, their robo brains. Yeah, I don't know. If you, you I had not no idea. No. Yeah, you open up the robo brains, and they have like a bunch of like little like connector things, and uh -huh. that determines how they act. Huh. So they have like a collect button, like a say hello to button, and like a, uh, like a run away from slash murder button. Whoa. So you, and there's like a bunch of different things. So you'd be like, I want all of the robots that I see, I want to program them so they run up and say hi to me whenever I'm like back in my base. <laughs> and I want them to collect ores when I'm not there, mm. or like other like suit parts, or like robot parts because you can like use like rocks and things to build lasers and stuff because why not right uh, and I want them to run away from enemies and so like they all behave like you make all the AI basically mm. like all of your AI because there's like AI for like big mammoth things that turn into soup everything turns into soup in this game um, and so like you get to make all your own AI so it's like hey you don't have to be sad because you get to control all of your AI. You get to control all of your friends' AI. Because it's got, they said four players when it's done. Oh. With they're shooting for two players on split screens, uh -huh. which is awesome. And I am really excited for soup and uh, <laughs> sweet hoverboard. You seem grinds. almost drunk with excitement about this game. I can't stop. Like it, I keep going back to play it, John Holmes. Like I have work to do. <laughs> It's that it's good. It's terrifying. It's so really simple fantastic. on the surface. And then you dig in a little bit, you find a little bit more, you dig in a little bit more before it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Huge world, too. It's, yeah, it's actually everything. 
It's kind of like remember Animal Crossing when it first came out on the GameCube, and uh -huh. they're like everything's going right like everything this, at all times literally everything is going not necessarily when you're not playing it but like everything right so there's boys as, here. Little boys. There, there's multitasking excited. action platforming a little bit terraforming Terra yes building uh, managing uh sweet lip grabs when you do tricks on your on your hoverboard which is something i'm still excited about yeah as far as i know only hoverboard well, there's audio surf, but one of two hoverboards <laughs> at PAX. That's right. And that is good. I will give a best best hoverboard of PAX. Best hoverboard of PAX 2013. We did it, guys. I closed it up for you. We're closing it out? No offense, but you would have kept going. I want to keep going. John Holmes, <laughs> how do I keep talking about pixel junk? Stop now. I gotta stop. Let's stop but, later. All right. <laughs> Destructoid.com has videos on it. Stay on Destructoid.com for videos. What do you say? <laughs>